Number 2. Calculate the resultant force on the triangular window ABC in the figure and locate its pressure. So, ito naman, ibang klaseng shape naman siya, ano, triangular. So, kailangan natin consider ito yung kanyang shape. So, yan. Kung naka side view. So, sa front view, guhit lang kasi nga plain figure siya. Pero pag tinignan mo siya sa side view, ganyan, rectangular. So, anong pinapahanap sa atin? Resultant force and then location. So, dalawa. So, kunin muna natin yung uh, resultant force. Resultant force is simply the hydrostatic force ng seawater na mag act dito sa gate. Itong F, ano? F. So, simply, F is from the formula gamma H bar A. Where, say-say natin yung given, where uh, gamma is unit weight of the liquid seawater. Ayan, given naman sa figure. So, the unit weight is 10.08 kilonewton per cubic meter. What is area na muna? So, area of the rectangular window ABC. So, from A to B to C, that is triangle. So, ano yung kanyang area? ba ang area ng rectangle? Oh, no. One half base times the height. So, what is one half of the base? The base is, ayan, given naman din, no? 40 centimeter. So, naka-centimeter tayo. So, meaning... Na, kung nakameter tayo dito sa unit weight, consistent dapat tayo sa unit. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. No? Convert ko na lang. Tapos, ano yung height? Ang height is given rin from the figure. It is equal to yan, 60 centimeter. So, the height here is 60 cm by 1 m over 100. So, makukuha natin na ang area is 1 half of base 40 over 100 times height 60 over 100. So, ilan nyo? Uh, point 0.12. So, 0 0.12 is square meter. Kasi na-cancel muna natin yung centimeter, no? Tapos, m squared. m times m, m squared. <laughs> then, h bar. What is the h bar? h bar is simply the location location of the center of gravity kasi ito yung CP so CG nandito yan somewhere assuming so CG is here to here ah CG is here to here pero ang H bar is here to here <laughs> so H bar paano natin makukuha ngayon niya ang proper P niyang H bar we have here a height no, na 25 cm. So, automatically, meron na tayong clue, 25 cm. Now, we just have to find the, the location of the centroid. The location of the centroid measured from this top part hanggang dito. Para yun yung magre-represent ng ating uh, measurement. No? So, itong A, Papunta dito, ilan yan? Hihihi. So, tingnan natin dito sa module. Di ko rin alam. <laughs> Paano po yan, ma? So, ha. Huh. Ayan, oh. So, ang YC mo kasi dito is H over 3. But YC is measured from your base papunta dito sa center centroid so ito yung h over 3 gets ito galing dito yan ngayon kung lilipat tayo dito sa view na to so ang base kasi natin na kinonsider is 40 ito so this is your 40 cm base ngayon ang location niyan is syempre measured from the base so ito Ay, ang OA. Sorry, exaggerated kasi yung pagka-drawing ko. So, wait lang. Hindi yan, hindi yan. Ito. So, measured from the base, uh, exaggerated drawing. So, H over 3. Therefore, yung remaining na difference in height is ito. Itong part na to. No? So, measured from the bottom, H over 3. Ano tong taas na to? That is... 1 whole minus h over 3. 
eh di two third two third of the total height is what we need to find to represent h bar kasi measure from the topmost sea water to the cg dito sa taas ng part okay so can i say that the two thirds of the height what is the height height naman is given ayan no 60 no 60 centimeter so 60 cm so ito pala ay naka cm multiply ko na lang siya ng 100 1 over 100 para magi meter so the location of h bar mo is equal to 25 plus 2 thirds of 60 and that is 65 centimeter divided by 100 so 0 0.65 meter ang h bar ano measured from again the topmost hanggang dito kay cg yar so okay na Meron na tayong components. I-substitute ko na siya. Gamma H bar A. Gamma is 2.08 kN per cubic meter. Uh, H bar is 0 0.65 meter. Area is 0 0.12 m squared. So, unit m cube divided by m cube. Final answer is in kN. And that is 10.08 by 0.65 by 0.12 Ang final is 0 0.786 kilo newton. And that is the resultant force F due to the hydrostatic force of seawater. Ayan. Ayan, ano ko na natin yung kanina na no? 0.786 kilo newton. Ano pa yung tinatanong dito? Locate its pressure. Hmm, location of pressure. Therefore, uh, Walang ano-ano ay, -ano, eh, ito ay wise CP. <laughs> wise of pressure. Ilan naman, ba Location of pressure. Hindi, wala namang reference kung from the bottom or from the top. So, as long as nakuha mo yung wise of P, so, I think you are correct. No. Bonus pa kung nakuha mo rin to. Pero kung wise of P, uh, I think that is okay. So, hindi naman limited sa isa ang solution. As long as you know how to get y sub p which is y bar plus ig over a y bar. So, san galing nga yan? That is the location of center of pressure measured from the topmost layer with reference also with y bar. Ang y bar mo naman cg2 cg2 Ato, CG2, topmost layer of the liquid. Sorry, okay? So, ano ba yan? Since naka diretso tayo, I mean, naka oh, oh, vertical projection lang tayo, so, pwede rin sabihin na yung Y bar mo is equal to H bar for this case, since uh, lapat lang, no? So, kunin ko kanina yung value ng Y bar na H bar din. So, ito yon that is 25 centimeter plus the two third of the height measured from a point a to the center of pressure somewhere here no or this this figure so 25 plus two third of height 60 centimeter so ang ating nakuhang h bar is 0.65 so y bar is 0.65 meters so lagi ko na lang siya dito na agad para diretso. And then, the IG, ano, ano ba yung IG? IG is the moment of inertia of a triangle. In this case, ito. Dito natin kukunin sa property ng rectangle, ay, ng triangle na BH cube over 36. So, direct ako na rin siya, no? Direct BH cube over 36, yung IG, over what is area? Area is, again, one-half base times height. Area, y bar is, ito na, given, 0.65. Di kailangan lang pala nating alamin kung ano naman yung B, ano yung H. Yung B naman dito is, syempre, the base of the triangle. The base of the triangle is 40 cm. So, substitute that again to this equation. We have uh, 40 divided by 100 is equal to B. Ilan yun? Point, point 0.4 ano? 
No, sinigurado ko lang para sure. So, 0.4 meter. 0.4 meter. And your height is, ilan yung height? From A to B, ayan o, 60 centimeters. So, 60 over 100 is equal to 0.6 meter. So, point, so base is 0.4 by height is 0.6 cube over 36 divided by one half of base is 0.4 times height is 0.6 by 0.65. So, calculating that, we get 0.65 plus 0.4 by 0.6 cube divided by 36 over one half of 0.4 by 0.6 by 0.65. Final answer is, makuha ba? Wait. So, YP therefore is 0 0.68. That is meter measured from top layer to center of pressure. So, nilagyan ko na lang ng wording no, para ma-orient mo rin kung saan ka kumuha ng location. Pero kung naka-figure naman na ganito, so, maintindihan rin naman natin yan. Ano? Basta alamin mo lang ulit yung concept nitong pagkuha ng location of pressure. So, that's it.